Hi guys, it's John here with an unboxing video of a brand new phone just released this month, which is the T-Mobile G1. Now this phone in here is 3.2 inches screen size. It's got a three megapixel camera and it's got 192 megabytes of onboard storage. So I'm really excited to see how this thing looks. So if we just get this open. It's like Christmas has come early. Okay. I had to get this imported from America because it's not currently available on any networks in the UK, but it was worth the wait. Oh dear. And here it is. You can see T-Mobile have put a lot of effort into the packaging on this phone. It comes wrapped up in a nice brown paper bag. You've got some beautiful sort of red polystyrene bits here. So let's uh, let's have a look what the phone looks like. You see T-Mobile have gone out of their way with the packaging here. It's really a secure setup. That's got to be the smallest power adapter I've ever seen in my life. Let's have a look. Output of 5 volts and 1 amp. You've got your mini USB connector here, a beautiful pink car adapter, which again is a thousand milliamp output. And if we just unbox here, this is the phone itself. So we can see the beautiful 3.2 inch screen. We've got a trackball. Can you hear that? And we've got some beautiful physical buttons here. So this screen is capable of 65,000 colours. It's a TFT capacitive touchscreen. It comes with a beautiful Qualcomm MSM7201A processor, which runs at about 528 megahertz. And the amazing thing with this phone is, of course, the keyboard. And look at that. Isn't that a thing of beauty? You can really imagine typing hundreds of messages out on this thing and then coolly just sliding it away before you put it back into your pocket. Here we have the volume rocker on the right left hand side. On the right hand side we have got the camera button, dedicated camera button, not something you see that frequently nowadays on phones. You've got this lovely compartment here which reveals the mini USB charging port. So I think without further ado, we need to turn this bad boy on and see how it performs. If we hold down on the power button here. It's not looking good so far, so we need to get a power bank and plug it in. Okay, so we'll plug this into our power bank here. We'll put it on the super speed charging port because obviously this phone will support super fast charging. And we'll just plug that in. And there we go. So if we go for the first power on. T-Mobile G1, beautiful on the on the screen. You can see the viewing angles are absolutely fantastic here. Let's wait for the first boot. So we've got no SIM card, that's fine. Can't seem to get past this. Okay, it's possible that we actually need to put a SIM card in before we can actually start using the phone, so let me go and grab a SIM card. 
Okay, so I've managed to get myself a SIM card and I'm gonna just open this up and see if we can get this working. While I'm doing this, uh, the phone does come with a dual touch touchscreen, which means you can have two fingers on at any time. And I don't want to break this, but it is quite stiff to open up. There's nothing blocking it there. There we are. So here we can see the 1150 milliamp hour battery. We're just going to take that out. Removable batteries, not something you see nowadays. And um, we're just going to slide our SIM into the slot here. So this is a standard SIM card. And we'll just have a look inside. Yeah, this is the Dream codename version. So the version of Android we're running is hopefully going to be around the sort of 1.0 mark. So let's pop that back in there. You can see the 3.2 megapixel camera there. Nice and snug. Okay, we'll plug this back in to get it charging. And we'll power it back on. While this is loading up, a few of the other things this features. It has a GPS, an accelerometer. It supports Wi-Fi both on 802.11b and G. It has Bluetooth 2.0. And it also has an autofocus in the camera camera, which is uh, quite good. Right, we've got the charger. Let's just turn the power bank back on, there we go. So, we can see here we can navigate with the trackball. I'm going to click that in there. So here we go, welcome to the T-Mobile G1. Let's ask us to touch the Android to begin. Okay. There are some important things to understand to get the most out of your phone. Using the on-screen keyboard, setting up a Google account, touch begin to start the tutorial. Very responsive screen here. Using the on-screen keyboard, so it's telling us here how to open the keyboard. You can see it's quite a, quite a nice little screen. I think I may have said it's a, a resistive touchscreen, but it is actually definitely capacitive, so no pressure is needed, which is quite nice, as you can see. I'm just sliding up and down here. So let's go next. Why use a Google account? With a Google account, you can use Google applications automatically sync between your phone and computer, regardless of where you are, where you make an update. Blah, blah, blah. Let's get next. Let's just skip this. It's not going to let us. So I'm going to sign in with my Google account and I shall try out the keyboard. So here we go. Slide the keyboard open to continue. Look at that, that is fantastic. Right, let me sign in. We're now signing in. This may take up to five minutes, apparently. I suppose one of the things here that it hasn't done yet is actually connect to the Wi-Fi network, so I'll be interested to see what it comes up with here. Right, okay, what we're going to need to do is actually go into the wireless settings first. So if I press on menu here, that brings up the option to go to the wireless settings. So, let's see. It's not actually giving us any Wi-Fi settings, is it? Right, in the, which case I need to put a SIM card in which actually has some data in it. So let's shut this down. And we'll use a different SIM card. And we're going to have to convert my nano SIM into a good old fashioned standard size SIM, which I do not have the pieces for. So in which case I will pop that out of there and pop this into 
there. Okay, so now we'll stick this back in the phone. And we shall try the initial setup again. Ah, excellent. We're now registered on the network, which is great. So hopefully we will see it connect. Got a bit of a lag here while it's, it seems to be sort of searching around. Yep, okay, so we're gonna go into menu, wireless settings, VPN name, menu, add new VPN. Ah, success. We have got a 3G connection. Okay, fantastic. So now we should be able to sign in to our Google account. I think, yeah, so there we go. My other account didn't work because it has two-factor authentication and that probably is quite a long time before this phone actually supported that sort of thing. So. That's fine. Google account is now linked to this phone. Okay. And here we are, we're in. We are in. SD card removed, that's fine. Okay, so here is our home screen. This is, uh, let's have a look what version of Android we're running. So we're running version 1.6, which is Donut which is quite exciting. Let's just check to see if we've got any updates here. We're currently up to date with the latest software, which is great. Let's have a look at some of our settings here. So wireless controls. We can now turn on Wi-Fi, which we couldn't do previously for some reason. You had to wait until you'd actually set up the phone. It was probably a T-Mobile thing. Wi-Fi is on. And straight away we can see our wireless network. So let's sign into that. We've got our on-screen keyboard, or if we want to be cool, let's flip up our keyboard. Okay. So we're on Wi-Fi now, which is brilliant. We've got Bluetooth, airplane mode, this is the highlight technology back in 2008 but now reimagined in 2017 so let's see what else we can do sound and display we've got a silent mode we can set our ring volume turn vibrate on and off okay let's see what our ringtone is not the uh, best ringtone I've ever heard it sounds more like a notification tone. A caffeinated rattlesnake, that's a scary uh, sound. Okay. We can turn on audible sounds, so when we press the screen it makes a sound. Switch orientation automatically. But it doesn't support landscape in the settings, which is a shame. Show animations, brightness of the screen. Let's see how bright this thing can get. God, look at that. You can be almost blinded by the brightness of this. That's great. Screen timeout. Let's set it to 10 minutes. Okay, so we have actually got Okay, I didn't click on the actual ringtones for the, uh, the chime thing. Here. Some fantastic sounding things here. Let's 
sounds good. Okay, so that's standard display settings, data synchronization. So we can tell it what we want to actually sync here. There's a problem syncing our contacts at the moment, which is a bit, uh, bit of a shame. Let's see, security and location. Use GPS, share with Google. So we can set an unlock pattern. This is just telling us how to do it. Quite impressed with the screen, to be honest. It's it's quite responsive. Okay, what else have we got here? Applications. So let's see what comes pre-installed with our donut phone here. We've got the Android system, got text to speech, Amazon MP3. Wow, I didn't even realise that existed back then. We've got an alarm clock, a browser, bug reporting, calculator, calendar, camera, contacts. Email, quick search, instant messaging, keyboard. Okay, we've got quite a lot of uh, stuff on here. This is obviously all the system apps as well. YouTube, fantastic. Okay. Look at that, we can even set quick launch settings for the different keyboard buttons, which is quite exciting. So pressing search in G should bring up Gmail. Search in I, the calendar. Search in M, Google Maps. Let's just try one of those. So we've got a little search button down here. So if I press search in M, we, we fantastic speed, we go into Google Maps. Look at that. Send and receive updates. Get walking and public transit directions. Read reviews and detailed information about business. Long press on the maps to search or see street view. Crikey. Okay. So let's try and zoom in somewhere here. Considering its age, I'm quite impressed with this so far. So let's see if we can get a street view loading. Street view. It seems to be struggling somewhat with the street view. It is still loading, it says. Oh, there we go, and we've got it. Look at that. And I'm sure we can move back and forth. It looks like rather than a nice transition to the next image, it does actually take quite a while to load up, which is fine. We are using a phone which is uh, what, nine years old. So let's go back home, back into our settings. And see what else we have here. So we've done applications, SD card and phone storage. So let's see what space we've actually got left on here to play with. Obviously we haven't got an SD card installed. We've got 71 megabytes here. Huge amount of space to play with. Date and time, search, search settings. We don't get a choice what search engine we use. We can choose though what to actually search on the phone, which is nice to have. Speech synthesis. We haven't got any voice installed there. And that's it, that's our settings. So let's go straight into the Android marketplace and see what apps we can download. Terms and conditions. God, doesn't this bring back lovely memories? And sadly, I think by the look of it, the Android market is completely dead. 
Okay, so we may have to make do with what apps we've got on here. Let's load up YouTube. Most viewed videos, let's see. It's taking a worrying amount of time to actually load anything up. These could just be placeholders in the app and YouTube has probably changed so much that it isn't actually going to find anything. Let's just do a test search. If I can spell test. There we go. Search results for test. No videos found. Okay, so I think by the look of it, YouTube is dead on here as well. Yeah, we're not getting anything back at all. Okay, that's fine. Let's see if we can press menu key to unlock. Okay, let's try out the browser, see what speeds we get from the browser. Pretty speedy there. Let's try the YouTube in the browser. I'll tell you what, I'm going to use the keyboard because it's actually easier to type on. All right, YouTube. Okay. We can, of course, scroll around here. Oh, I wonder whether oh, the date is correct. We'll continue anyway, that's fine. It's not looking too happy there. Unless it is actually processing a page. Okay, I think it's safe to say that this isn't actually working. Which is a shame. Let's just try something else. Load another page up. Okay, we've got a page this time, which is good. Let's see if we can... It's looking like we may have reached the capability of this phone already, which is a shame. I think the CPU is completely maxed out. It's, it's getting quite warm. I think we have actually completely killed the T-Mobile G1. Anyway, I hope you uh, found this interesting and useful. Um, I'm gonna just turn this off and take my card out now because this is dead. So let's get an object and see if we can take a photo of it. Okay. So let's go into the camera. And it helps if it doesn't move the icons around. Okay. So here we are. We can see the responsiveness of the camera itself. Pretty fantastic. So 
because our phone wasn't charging. It's now powered off. I think you get the uh, the idea there. Um, what I'll do is I'll let the I'll let the phone charge and I'll do some battery te some camera tests and uh, let you see the results of those later. This is a quick video test on the HTC Dream or the T-Mobile G1, depending on where you come from. So it will be testing the quality of the video and also the quality of the sound. If we just play some sound. Very, very passive. So they almost can see that plant. They let you take the play and are not afraid to play retake, maybe from CC Heavenly. But, you know, FK, completely different. They'll be in your face half the time, and then half the time they'll be passive, so it's very hard to game plan against that. So like Hawk is cold, and that's ridiculous, uh, play. It's an MK player, I think, that they usually would. Um, and so, Yanko, I want to understand the win conditions for this game. Is it simply just not on the con? Do we expect a third map like this? So I hope you enjoyed this quick look and unboxing of the T-Mobile G1. This phone, as you can see, it's still fantastic, still works very well, very fast. It's a good contender, contender to be phone of 2017 and probably 2018 as well, due to the sheer size, the small form factor, low weight, the big battery size and the fantastic 3.2 megapixel camera. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please click like and subscribe to my channel for more and I'll see you again in the next one.